Hello beautiful Scorpios, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. We're looking at your overall energy in love at this time. So let's see for our Scorpios. I like to set the intention for the reading with a positive note. So what, what do we have? Wild Rose Fairy Love. Love coming in for you, Scorpio. You are ready and you are excited. You are going to have something very magical. Sanctuary. We have Mystic Meadow. So spending time alone, you know, spending time where you feel really safe with all of your besties, with your pets, with your family, with all those people you adore is going to be very helpful to your love life presently. And we have refuge. See, this is all about sanctuary and refuge and feeling good and feeling very much uh, in the arms of love by everyone around you. All right, love attracts love. So let's see what we have here for our beautiful Scorpio friends. This is a two-part reading. I do a love reading first, followed by a separate reading, which may or may not connect to the first one. It is your person of interests, thoughts, feelings, and intentions with you, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, we have somebody wants to invest. Oh, two of cups energy. That is a bride and groom in the rider weight deck, taking their vows together. New love, Scorpio, nice. All right, so let's take a look at that energy for you. All right, so what's going on with Scorpio? A passionate new beginning, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups. Wow, this is a stellar start to a reading. Oh my gosh, you might be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, Cancer. Could be dealing with Taurus. Could be dealing with... Um, the uh, fire sign. Let's say what am I thinking here? This is Sagittarius energy. Yes. Sorry about that. A little Mercury retrograde there on the memory banks. We have, you're really, you may meet somebody online. It looks like you're conversing with somebody online or through messenger. You're looking at social media. They're looking at you. We have somebody who's kind of very young, kind of maybe shy a little bit. Um, might be a little bit indecisive here. This is uh, Pisces energy, Scorpio, somebody who might be younger than you, somebody who may not be as well-grounded as you. Let's see. We'll see, though. Aw, Three of Cups, Starry Nights, Friends. So we have the Ace, the Two, and the Three of Cups. That is all about falling in love with your best friend or falling in love and then becoming best friends because you're in love. Oh my God, that's a great reading. Six of Coins, the energy between the two of you is very Taurus oriented. Both of you really love to give to one another. You love to give to the relationship. That's very much something that is important for both you and your love interest. We have the world card going to the next level. Your love life is about to perk up, Scorpio, that you're closing out a, a season of great success in your life and you're open to someone new. Look at this. We have the King of Wands. King of Wands, the energy is Leo energy. We have Aquarius energy. But somebody who's very sexy, who's very exciting, is coming in towards you. Somebody who has a lot of pride, a lot of dignity, but somebody has fire in their belly. They're willing to uh, engage fully. So right now we have also the moon card. So you're just not feeling. This is Pisces energy. So we do have Neptune in Pisces right now, but it does speak to the fact that at this time, you sort of exit this reading, not really quite sure where you stand with somebody, or maybe even what you want. You're trying to sort through the emotional abyss of some other relationships so that you can have all of this. This is all about sanctuary, protecting your heart, protecting your feelings. But right now, you're a little bit fearful. You know, that's a little bit Pisces energy, the moon feeling like you're a bit underwater emotionally. But Scorpio, you're a great water sign and you always, you're the, you're the phoenix, okay. So here we have the Ace of Swords is clarifying the Ace of Wands. So you and a person that you are going to connect with are very much about telling the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. The Five of Cups, you've both been wounded, but you know, that's normal, right? In life, by, by the time you're a certain age, we're seeing that 
both you feel as though somebody may owe you an apology or you may owe somebody an apology but we see this fiery energy happiness joy feeling a little bit lonely scorpio but very much you may have an aries who perks you up a friend who takes you out somebody you are so protected you're like in the eye of the the storm you know that love is coming through and you're just able to enjoy the process so we do have Sagittarius energy I would be a little bit careful it looks like you're going to have several suitors somebody who's younger somebody who's very fiery but we also have somebody coming in with in and out energy that Sagittarius the Aries queen is somebody who uh, tends to be the other person or the third party in a relationship but also the Aries queen is very fiery very passionate passionate so you have a lot of look at this passion 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 but in that all of that passion you really want to make sure that you don't get your feelings hurt you know you love the passion Scorpio you're all about that Mars energy it's a co-ruler but what I see here is that you're not going to do anything with your passionate nature you don't want to enter a zone of getting hurt emotionally and then we do have the four of wands so you are looking for that stability you're looking for that relationship that can go the distance and you're not going to tolerate much else is what i'm seeing so let's see what we have here okay so let's see we have the star card look at this aquarius energy you may be dealing you're dealing with somebody who's very freedom loving somebody who is very fiery in their own right somebody who has a lot going on for themselves scorpio that beautiful star card is aquarius but it's all about the spirituality of the connection and the passion the communication some travel maybe even traveling to see each other so it looks like this is a big bang month for you this is a lot of activity for you scorpio somebody's running in to tell you something um you know right now you're holding back and you're thinking about a lot of old hurts but Scorpio, here you are, you know, you're coming through this period of time of recognizing that maybe you had something to do with the relationships that didn't work out. So sometimes I think that perhaps you waited around for people to show up and they didn't show up. So that is sort of, but you're very much in love right now. You're very much in love with life. You're very in tune with your emotions. But again, sanctuary is very important for you. You are looking at things or you're, you're searching for answers as to why uh, things didn't work out either with one particular person or, you know, more than one, like overview of like looking at your life and criticizing it or coming up with the answers of why you think old relationships did not work out. You're being very head over heart. You're being very logical. You're locking your heart in a cage and you're letting somebody come through to prove to you that they're worthy of the relationship. Beautiful energy, 10 of coins energy. That's a, that's a legacy marriage, the four of wands, a marriage ceremony, uh, laying down roots. You have somebody coming in Scorpio that you may want to marry and that will is they're in it to win it too this new love is unmistakable so whatever it is that you've been with you know where you've been in the past it's washing away your time in the sanctuary your time with loved ones and with people who care is really paying off because you're you're ready for this energy and your person is coming in very quickly here so we see let oh <laughs> I said quickly and I got the chariot card. So they see you as a person that they want to have a life with. This is a honey, I'm home card. Your person may be younger than you, like I said. However, they have a lot of drive, a lot of, um, that's the emperor driving the chariot. So your person has kind of kicked out of this laid back attitude. They are now in hot pursuit or soon will be. Your person very much wants a commitment with you the temperance card does suggest you probably know this person you might have spent some sort of romantic time together or some friendship time but it looks like they're very much front and center look at this you look beautiful they feel as though you're very attractive you have everything that you need you know you're highly sought after at this time for love throwing caution to the wind Scorpio there you go 
that that baton the ace of wands but three aces look at that you are keeping very calm cool and collected though and you are going to require that anybody coming in we see someone who will really be collaborative with you somebody who will really do the work with you you know somebody who is now we have the the king of pentacles popped out to clarify so we have taurus energy we have capricorn energy we have virgo energy you have a a lot of earth energy here that's going to put you in the direction and, and push you in the direction of a very grounded but very passionate loving relationship it's so well balanced five of wands so secretly you have secret admirers who compete for your attention and you don't really speak about it, but you do have people who are very much egocentric. There's somebody who's very egocentric that I feel is a part of your past, and you're seeing that as not being so good. The Two of Wands, you will make the appropriate choice, though, that it's time for you to tiki torches, the world, the globe. We have a surfboard here next to a van. So many of you may be in that very, you want some adventure. You want to go on road trips. You want to have fun. And we have the Aries Emperor. I was going to say Aries King, but no, the Aries Emperor. So you are being very strategic. Look at that big chest piece. Ooh. So you are attracting a lot of very, um, very intense masculine energy here into your life um, for some of you, feminine, but... I'm getting this energy that you are, this is winning at love. This is, again, all these kings, all of this energy is a preparation for love. Spirit is saying, be careful what you listen to. You know, don't take every big promise that somebody makes is at face value. And we see clearing up all of this confusion with the moon card. You feel very grounded, very safe, very down to earth. Somebody is nurturing the relationship and they're not required you to do anything your your attitude right now is that you're going to let the person who likes you pursue you you want them to reveal who they are to you you're not going to take any overt action you're going to let them really pursue is what i'm getting here you know you'll just stay right there you're gonna scorpio is gonna do scorpio your person's going to do them and you know you're waiting for them to come through so the tower card says that you want somebody with a strong foundation you won't settle for less than a strong foundation you also are not going to put up with anybody who's drama ridden and here we go. Your outcome card is a beautiful Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Pentacles are necessary, you know, to get to the Ten of Pentacles. But you have a beautiful array of love cards and multiple options for who you're going to choose. But that Taurus King is coming in with loyalty, with um, your same value system and sharing all of that with you. So the Emperor, you're playing it very cool, Scorpio. So I'm going to go over to the Thoughts field feelings, intentions, and actions portion of the reading. Um, and so I'm going to clean up the cards quickly here for you and go over there and see what we have. Okay. Go over there. Go, go right here on my table. <laughs> so let's see what we have. All right. So let's look and see thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions for Scorpio from a person of interest person of interest focus on who you are thinking about so we can try to pull the energy all right so let's see oh look at that's a meditation card the ace of wands you want somebody who's very passionate and you don't want to have to be the one to do the work all right so their thoughts their thoughts are Oh, they can't stop thinking about you. Oh my goodness. Your person feels as though you're not taking, you're giving them encouragement with the Page of Pentacles, but you're not chasing after them. You're, you're just sort of saying, yes, I'm interested. I'm here, standing on one foot. Do what you're going to do. And you're letting this person take the lead and see, you're watching to see if they take the lead. But this is their thought is that they're a little bit um, insecure with you right now. 
So when they think of you, they get nervous is what I'm getting. In their heart space, they feel fearful that their emotions are so deep that they'll get lost in their emotions. But look at this, Pisces energy twice. You are their wish fulfillment, the nine of cups that, you know, she's taking this leap of faith into the air. It kind of looks like the fool card, but it's much more advanced. It really speaks to the fact that when your person is around you, they feel great happiness, great joy. And then when they leave you, they worry about what you think of them. <laughs> All right, so in their heart space, they are sneaking around. They want to figure you out. They want to make sure. These two cards are telling me that they are fearful and they're spying on you to make sure they don't get hurt. But the Nine of Cups in their heart space, they love you. The more cups, the more love. It's that simple. So in terms of their intentions, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, that's what the sword's energy is all about. They want to make sure, they've been lied to in relationships before, and they want to make sure that they're dealing with uh, honesty just as you do. The Ten of Swords says that they, they have been hurt and they're trying to walk away in their path in life from old wounds into a future with you. So we see this card that their intention is to heal from their wounds, to be very honest, to always operate in a very honest way, and their intention is to make an offer. With the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Coins, this is a very honest offer, but they are leaving a lot behind that has hurt them, leaving old wounds behind so they don't impact your relationship. What do we have for the outcome? We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Justice card. Oh, the Nurturing card, beautiful High Priestess, and the Aries Queen. So your person totally intends um, and what their actions are going to be. This is their actions. They are going to propose a, a relationship with you that could be including marriage. That can be a marriage license. It can be living together. They want to have a life with you day to day, in and out, living with you in a very practical way. They want great passion with you. This is what they're going to bring to the table. This is their actions. And they're nurturing the love that the two of you have. They're very protective of it and they're very discreet so their actions are stunning it's beautiful so that's what i have for you scorpio thank you so much sending you love from chicago send some back and tell me where you're from thank you